here we have water alum baking soda in this balloon shake it now look what happens going fast, shake it a little bit and it will go fast. Okay. There's a leak. Now if you have done all the things correctly, you should see something like this. Something which resembles milk. Now let me, uh, let me clear the fact that even if you leave it for over 12 hours, you still, the reaction is will be still continuing because the left alum doesn't immediately react it's it's going to be a lot more beneficial if you do the reaction in some boiling hot water yeah so you're going to get the reaction somewhat fast in over five hours I'll, i really recommend you to dip it under some hot water for much efficiency now you should end up something uh, with something like looking like this okay now if you're going with the sedimentation method of adding 10 milliliters of ethanol to the solution it should somewhat look like this you can clearly see some really really crystal clear water at the top and that aluminum hydroxide settling at the bottom if i shake this a little bit yeah it all merges up and just let it sedimentation uh, decantate for a second and slowly moves to the bottom now this uh, this uh, i actually like the way it looks this way so i didn't go with the um, separation method i just sh uh, did this to show you all how it's going to look when you separate it now make sure that the that the water you're using is not too cold otherwise it will it's literally going to take you 12 hours to complete the reaction um, i mean i think there will be still some um, reactants reacting in this container now this is how to make some aluminum sulfate at your home using no extra materials only the materials which could be easily available at your homes now i have bunch of other stuff so go check them out thank you